Here I am. Um, okay, so I lost half a pound. I'm not sure, even sure how that happened because I have not been tracking my calories or weighing myself. I weighed myself just before this, just to so I can tell you like what the deal was. Um, and my diet is pretty much vegetarian because I bought I'm, I'm, two times bought these Twix Twix ice cream bars. They are something special, which sucks because. It kind of goes against everything that I'm trying to like be about right now. But um, honestly, this week has been the hardest week um, since like March. Uh, like the whole coronavirus, I wasn't like that worried about it. And I, I mean, like I got that huge rush, so I guess I'm just not like conscious of how these things are affecting me. But this week was like especially terrible, it seems like. So, um, honestly, I was just trying to get by, and I didn't, um, go buck, but I for sure was eating, uh, animal products, so, you know, there's that. But, um, like, this week just started out bad. Like, even Daddy was like, what's, <laughs> what's the situation? Are you mad at me? And I was like, I'm not mad at you, I'm just annoyed with everybody, and you're part of everybody, so, and you live with me. So you're getting all the good stuff. But, like... Just like coming to terms with my own like white privilege and like complacency and you know like I commented on this girl's thing Facebook post and I haven't like talked to her since middle school and she like liked it and I was like she couldn't have loved that and th I really think like she really couldn't have just loved that like I was letting her know that I care about her and she doesn't really seem to give a shit. <laughs> How self-absorbed do you have to be? Like, I actually have been watching this guy on Instagram, Brandon P. Uh, Brandon K. Good, and he's been so good because, he, you know, it's like white people don't ask, don't call your black friends and ask them what you need to be doing. You, know, you need to work this out on your own. Like, come to terms with your racism and your complacency, and I would just shocking at how you know I think I'm a good person and I just I mean I I still believe that I'm a good person but you know I, it was just it's been a lot to I don't know <laughs> this week has just been uncharted territory I've just never considered myself a racist at all and even when I've had like um stereo like made stereotypical assumptions about people that are you know low-key racist like that stuff was all like I don't inherently think that that it's all black people are all Mexican people are all whatever you know I know there are exceptions to the rule and that we all have like cultural norms and stuff I don't know but I'm happy to report that now at the end of the week, I am at most mildly racist because watching the Brandon K, um, you know, he's talking to white people that like, he's like, you know, what, how many of your shows have, uh, have a black character in them or how many books have you read that like have black characters? Well, luckily for me, like I've been living single for a, a hot one and you know, it's been a different world for me f for a long time. <laughs> um, I read, I read the Amer an American American and actually, when I was reading, I was like, I've never read a book that is about black people before. And I thought that was kind of weird, but it definitely didn't stop me from reading the book. Like, I, it was a really good book. Um, of course, black music is always awesome. I just, um, so insecure, he talked about insecure, and I'm, Tried to watch that the other day, but like it's hard to watch that with the kids around. It's pretty sexually graphic. Um, so I haven't been able to watch season four of that. But anyway, I'm getting off topic here. Yesterday, one of my cousins, like, so I posted two things on Facebook. One, a video of a white lady talking about how white people need to make change for black people because. Our white silence is fucking violent as hell. I'm sorry that I didn't like cussing so much. Um, I'm really passionate about it. So anyway, um, 
And like seriously, like two or three people liked it, and most people did not want to touch it with a ten foot pole. And then the second post is I um, made a donation, and then I created a like make a donation button on the post so like other people could donate. For sure, nobody did, and only a couple, uh, like six people liked it. It's just cr I had to delete the Facebook app off my phone because it's so infuriating that so many people are not doing anything, like too scared to say or do anything. They can't even like a post saying that like, yeah, I'm not a total racist either and I want to make change in this world. Like, anyway, so, uh, cousin reaches out and, uh, oh, he sends me a video and it's about a mixed guy and he's talking about how black lives matter um but if you know black people need to quit killing other black people too you know before you need to ask everybody else to take on black lives matter which he's not wrong like black people should definitely stop killing other black people but like what about the black people that don't engage in that kind of behavior like they don't get to ask for equality because other i, I don't i don't know anyway um so I, that's what I said, and I was like, I, I, I'm not, I don't think he's wrong, but like, I think that it's pretty skewed, like it's not taking everything into account or whatever, and he's like, his response was like, isn't the approach, aren't the protests about um, white cops killing black people? And I, I responded and said, the protests are about black people being second-class citizens and their desire to be for equality. White cops killing black people without repercussion is just an example of that. Um, and then he said another video that I did not watch. Um, but he like ended it by saying that he, you know, nobody in their house doesn't um, allow racism or whatever. It's not part of their deal. So I... I'm just hoping, and I send him some um, anti-racist literature, um, and I hope that I made an impact without being petty and stuff like that. Like I, I don't, I don't understand what the point was in reaching out to me. Honestly, like was he trying to? I don't, I don't know. And Daddy said I shouldn't engage, but like I couldn't help it myself, um, and I did not, cause I kept it cool. Um, I had all my chill, so that's good. Um, whew, it's a crazy world. Um, so I feel like we as Americans feel powerless to uh, create change in our environment and world and government and all of that stuff and it's just not true. Um, so when you're old enough and when you can, anytime you can, please, please, please vote. I was just like that. I did not vote. I had not voted in an election. I think I did maybe one time because I could get extra credit in a history class or whatever, but I've never like cared about politics or it, um, used my right to vote and that is just stupid because we have got to vote <laughs> and we can create change and that's like it just seems like the American government like likes that we just the, just the fact that we don't think we can create change most of us won't even try and that is just not how it is and I hope that you guys are awake to that. Please be awake to that. Um, that's pretty much it. It looks like I hit all my major points. Oh, and no, one last thing. <laughs> I don't know how like people are getting by without a practice because um, I'm still doing 25 minutes of meditation in the morning and then I do my meta meditation and my affirmations and then I do the breathing and then I do the asanas and lately I've been like I'm still running oh actually um my run time was decreased by 30 seconds this week so that's cool um and like still I am stressed I'm losing mad hair it, that is why I'm wearing my hair because it is just like falling out it's crazy so I if whew, t tomorrow next week we're starting meditation again for you guys because we haven't been doing it but like 
I hope that I hope everybody's just doing what they can do. I think most people are eating, which is what I was doing too. Not the best solution, but those Twix ice cream bars are delicious. And I heard the Snickers ones were really good too, but I'm scared. That sounds that sounds like too much for me. I'm gonna be able to hang. Um, anyway, this is a long one. I've really rambled on. I love y'all so much, and I'll see you next week. Bye.